Well, right here, this is the sinew that I got from uh, the three lower legs of a moose, along with some from the back there as well. And I'm going to store most of it in this form. Uh, you know, kept dry, sinew will last for hundreds of years. Uh, but uh, yeah, just got to keep it dry, that's all. And you can see here when it's dried out, it's like it's translucent. You can see through it. And all you do, you pound it, uh, put down a wooden block or something, and pound it out. And then the fibers will uh, kind of separate. And so this is the this is the end right here. And on the other end, I pound it out a bit. And the fibers kind of separate. And once you pound out the full length, you go to tear them apart, and they'll be usable sinew. And uh, but I'm going to store it like that and only pound it out as I need it kind of thing. But I'm going to pound out some because uh, I need a bit for a little project that I'm working on. And all the rest, I'm going to store it like that and keep it dry. Now I'm just going to start with, uh, with the piece that I already pounded out a little bit. And you can see right. So just with a hammer. When you hit it, you see it change color. Now it's going white. It just rotates it around a little bit hit too hard you want to break up the fibers too much and kind of like an amazing transformation you know after you hit it I'm just going to grab it, I'm just going to tear it apart. And most people, you know, say tear it apart about the size of a, a lead pencil or something like that. Okay. And depending on what you're going to use for it, you know, if you're sewing something really fine, then I guess, you know, your, your pieces would be a lot smaller. Today and now turn on this side a bit. Yeah, so I'm starting to come apart there already. Yeah, I'll just tear it on down. Tearing it apart as it comes apart in places, like, you know. And there's that one side. Tearing the fibers apart, pound the out. Like I said, I'm going to make enough pound out enough sinew that I need, and rest I'm just going to store it as is. It's not something I use. I was going to use a whole lot of for sure. You know, uh, 
sinew as well, you know, it's got like a natural glue in it. And now this is dry, but if you moisten it with saliva in your mouth, it softens it up and you'll use it and, and you don't even have to tie it, it'll stick together. It's like a natural glue in it. And as it dries then, because after you moisten with your mouth, as it dries it kind of shrinks and just holds everything right in tight. Break apart the fibers. I'm gonna get the part of that in the. Oh, down here now it's kind of stuck a little bit hard there. See, you can see they were never changed color yet. So that area a little bit like that. You start off with a little bit of sinew, and as you pound it out and tear it apart, you get like a nice little ball of it. <laughs> yeah. Kind of curls up a bit, and you know this kind of stuff too. But that's all right. Just tear apart. Now I could tear it down more net, but uh, I'll only do that when I really need it. That's the thing you just got from that line piece. And there's something I got from that short piece. So, so uh, you know, if I was to pound it with what I got over right there, it'd be a pretty big pile when it's all said and done. Now you can see just by the color of the sinew that uh, is dried again now, and uh, as it dried, it's shrunk in really tight in around uh, the end of the scraper here. Uh, I did have the camera put there to record uh, of actually the process of putting the sinew on, but I couldn't have had the, the record button pressed, and I never got that clip. So I made another scraper right here, and I'm going to show you the process of uh, putting the sinew on. Fairly line piece of sinew here. He's a bit, a bit thick. So I'm just gonna just rip that one down through again. That should be all right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna roll up the sinew a bit small, and now I'm going to moisten, moisten the sinew in my mouth. Kind of tastes a little bit like a uh, moose nickel, and the sinew got like a natural glue in it. And when you moisten it like this, it makes it soft. And when I'm winding around, I just gotta wind around. I haven't got to tie it or anything uh, because there's natural glue that will just stick to itself. I got a couple of little notches on the end of the scraper there and then a little bit on the wood there. I should be ready now. Yeah. and wind it. Yeah, put 
and then notch there. Going to read on top of itself again. Like I say, it's like a natural glue, and it's just a, and just rub it in there a bit to it like that. And it'll stick to itself and tighten in as it dries. So I'm just going to get another piece here now. Process is going to wind up its smile. I kind of had all just recorded earlier, but. <laughs> You see the draw, the color of the draw, you know. Like the, the spruce resin too, it cools kind of quick. When you got it, you got to work it fast. That job to get the blade in there. But fun, fun it did. But the, with that pitch, and also with this sinew, that blade's going to be there really tight. I can feel it when the time you know if it's a bit hard it just wait till it gets really soft. This right here is uh, the back sinew, and I'm just going to uh, pound it out just on the edge going down the line. And I just want to get a little place in here so that I could hang it up uh, somewhere dry. I'm going to put down the edge here again. Senior and all the rest of the legs, and you I got up right here. 
it's always nice and dry up there and whenever it needs to be they can haul it out and process it 